What's up everybody, back with another video, and as you can see by the title, I am back in Ukraine. I'm in Lviv, which is about 70 kilometers across the border. Um, life here is pretty much returned to normal, with the exception, you see things like uh, around the churches and all around the city here. The um, statues are all covered up and caged to prevent against rocket attacks. Um, so, I just got back to Ukraine yesterday. Uh, I'm on my way to, back to Kiev to my apartment tomorrow. <clears throat> Had to make the uncomfortable phone call to my mom last night to tell her I was back in Ukraine. And of course, she comes right back with a big gun. She says, as long as I'm here, I'm not getting my cat and dog back. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, I don't know how long I'll be back over here. And uh, I've just got to try to decide what I'm going to, you know, what my future plans are. Um, so, I just kind of want to do a walk around town, Lviv. This is a great city. It's only the second or third time I've been here. It's an old medieval city. Traditionally, it was Polish. And then after the Second War, when um, the Soviet Union split up the republics, they gave uh, Lviv from, uh, uh, you know, from transferred it from Poland to uh, Ukrainian territory and so I'll spin around here and show you the, the main square here the Renok. it's another one of the big uh, sculptures here on the corner and uh, also like I said you see it's got a cage around it it's got a tent around it anything to try to prevent them from rocket attacks so you see this kind of thing all over the city the churches have the windows are boarded up and sandbagged and this stuff as well so I'm gonna do a little walk around and show you guys a little bit of the city right here on the main square at the other side this is uh, the Pravda brewery it's a <clears throat> it's a local microbrewery um, when the war started, they quit making uh, beer. They quit producing beer, and they started making Molotov cocktails for all the territorial defense leagues. They're actually they sell a shirt inside, um, and it's got a you know one of their beer bottles with the rag hanging out the top, and it's called the Bandera cocktail. So um, it looks to me like the they are back up and running as a brewery, and it's also the um, like local headquarters for the International Press Corps. All the press is sitting out there last night, so you get to, there's quite a bit of press in the city still. Um, there hasn't been any, any attacks here in Lviv for weeks now. Uh, air defenses are up. As you can see, the shops, everything is back open. I just passed it, but restaurants are all back open. And uh, you wouldn't know that there was a uh, full-blown war waging in the east of the country from here. There's a uh, church I wanted to go in just now to show you. It's, I went in there last night for the first time, but um, they're having a service, so I have to wait and go back later. There was a guy standing out front, um, basically as a bread line. He had a basket handing out loaves of bread. And there were quite a few people, mostly elderly people, waiting in line. So um, I just got here last night. I don't really know the situation on um, if there's still quite a few of the refugees coming from the east. I haven't been to the train station here yet, which is the way most of them are coming. So I'm going to try to get my bearings today and, and find out a little bit more about just the situation of, of people fleeing the Donbass and the eastern regions of Ukraine still uh, headed this way. So hopefully I can uh, find out about that. I'll go back in that church later. Now I'm going to shoot over to the other side of the square and try to go in the big church here. I'm actually taking the long way around to that church. So uh, I went over one more street because I want to show you guys a couple of things here. A couple of cool little uh, restaurants and stuff. Dr. Faust. Pretty sure it's a Mason symbol. Oh, yeah, Masonic Club. Didn't even realize when I walked by last night that's what that was. And then here's like one of the more uh, medieval uh, themed restaurants here, which I'm gonna eat at one later today. But here's what I wanna show you guys. I don't know if this was a monastery, just part of the church grounds. So I need to kind of find out. So you can see the plywood in the windows where the windows for the churches are all boarded up. Wish I could get over to see that plaque. There's another one of the st statues wrapped, created and wrapped in this, uh, not sure what you call that paper. It's almost like a, uh, a webbing, a webbed paper inside. It's not, doesn't tear easily. Kind of reminds me of uh, Italy a little bit. church so this is a uh, this is a medieval city and I think it's um, Ukraine's third or fourth largest city um, <clears throat> just, it, it, it's funny because so much of this just reminds me of Italy especially down in the Tuscany area one of the other places I wanted to show you the so like a little cocktail bar at night it's pretty pretty packed it's called the plague doctor Oops, smack my head on one of these lanterns 
And this is one of the famous uh, statues here. I'm going to have to go back and translate that later. It's the father of something. But, okay, keep going. The milk pub, not to be confused with the milk bars in Poland I did in my video. I saw this last night. These are postcards that have been sent and they framed them. So I'll have to look online and see if I can find the story about where these come from or why they started doing this. I can't really see any dates or anything on here. Well, this is uh, 23 something, 2005. So I'm just curious as to how this, uh, how this started. Finally made, making my way to the church here. Hopefully it's open. Uh, by the way, you guys like my new jacket? What do you think? I'm, I'm channeling my inner Zelensky. So, <laughs> uh, he's become quite, quite popular here, as you can imagine. Um, last night I was on my way back to the hotel and uh, there was a, in fact, maybe I'll try to incorporate it into this video if I can pull it off my phone. There was a group out in the streets, you know, there's a big crowd around them. They were singing, I think they were singing uh, the Rise Up, the song that, um, I forget his name, Andre, the lead singer of Boombox. He was singing, he did a like an acapella version of it in Sophia Square and it became really popular and it's an old, old song. And then Pink Floyd actually put out their first song in almost three decades, 28 years, I think. And they did the backup uh, vocals and the, uh, you know, um, instrumental music to Andre's uh, voice and uh, made a video. So Pink Floyd put out a video on it. But uh, there was a group out, there was a group of like two or three people singing and then a big crowd was around them. They were all singing last night. So I'll try to uh, see if I can put that in the video. Looks like the church is open. I don't think I was, last time I was here, I think this was closed, so I don't think I was in it. Uh, so it's a St. Eucharist Church, former Dominican church. Looked like it was constructed 1749 to 1764. I don't know if they'll let me film inside. Sorry for that quick little video, but it said no cameras, no filming, so that's, that's about all I could get before I started getting dirty looks. <clears throat> um, outside here, this is the, uh, the uh, I forget the name of this little square here. This is usually a pretty popular restaurant, especially during the summer and in the evenings. I see they still have the eggs up from Easter. Oh, I forgot you can do a tour of the undergrounds here. Stumbled on like a little uh, flea market. Oh, look at there. Iron Maiden. Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. Great album. Still on my still on my uh, gym playlist. I'm not sure who this is. Is this Yaroslav the Wise? I don't remember. I wander around here. Most of the time people don't like you filming, so uh, we'll kind of look and see what they have around here. Stumbled on this other little church. It's a Misto Cherkva, so it's a city church. So I'm looking here at these plaques. This is Ukrainian Pemakere Architecture. It's a Ukrainian um, memorial architecture. So it looks like this one uh, was constructed between 1554 and 1556. So um, being from the States, it's, it's just hard, it's hard to, you know, our country's not that old, so it's hard for me to basically uh, put the concept in my mind how old some of this stuff is. Um, some of the things here are older than that too, believe it or not. There's another church. Well, every time I turn around, there's another church to go in, so I may have to walk over and uh, see about going in that one as well. About Ukraine, these little coffee shacks like this, kiosks are everywhere. That's called coffee power. But um, a large coffee there, just the uh, Americano, regular coffee, a large coffee was uh, 28 rivna. So right now it's uh, 32 rivna to the dollar, so it's less than a dollar for a large coffee. Okay, that wasn't a church. It looked like a church, but it wasn't a church. So uh, I want to show you this one of these very famous statue here. You can see where um, I need to look up the story behind it. I'll look it up and I'll put it on a link in the description. But funny, it looks like Martin Sheen when he was younger. And I forget what this is called, a magician or something. So I've got to figure out. But it's one of the most popular statues in uh, in the city. 